Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm excited to go over these Yitta Motor 6-inch chromed stainless steel step bars. These are going to be good for any 2009 to 2018 Ram 1500 crew cab or any Ram 1500 classic body style 2019 to 2024. They're also going to be good for any Ram 2500 or 3500 crew cab from 2010 to 2024. I'm going to take them out of the box. I'm going to install them on this truck, see how they look after the fact. We'll We'll check them out right when they come out of the box to see how nice of quality they are. These step bars can hold up to 450 pounds and look just as good as the factory ones. Let's get started and thanks for checking out the video. All right, just grab your razor blade or whatever knife you may have. Now these have some kind of plastic ties on them that you're gonna have to cut through. And these are pretty heavy step bars. So thankfully you only have to put one on at a time. I'm excited to see what they look like. I'm also excited to, I'm hopefully excited to see the hardware that's included on them because if there's no hardware, we can't really put them on. So when you get them, they come wrapped in this foam, which is really nice. And the foam goes in between them. And then they're also wrapped in bubble wrap, which is really nice. And uh, they slide right out of the bubble wrap, like so. Packaged very nicely, I might add. Chrome looks really good. I didn't see any yellow on it or anything like that. It's chromed all the way underneath. And uh, yeah, that comes with it. Looks really good. And yes, it does come with all the brackets uh, to install, so that's great. And they even give you some gloves to put them on. And then of course it comes with all the washers and hardware to install it. So let me get this all unpackaged and we'll get one side on. So before we get started, you want to verify that you have all the right tools and all the parts that you're going to need after getting everything unwrapped. You'll see that you have three mounting brackets and then you have eight bags of hardware. You're going to need three sockets, a half inch, a 10 mil, and a 12 mil, as well as a ratchet. And then here is a parts list. Feel free to pause that. So the instructions are here and basically there's a couple different ways that this can go, especially when mounting these mounting bars here. So you're either going to be using these if your uh, truck is pre-drilled, which this one is not. So you have to use these kind of L bolts here. These slide in the hole and then hold it up like that. And we're going to be using these and you're gonna use the half inch socket for the heavy bolts, and then you're gonna use the um, 12 mil, I believe, or the 10 mil for these guys right here. And then the 12 mil is for the actual step bar um, brackets that you have to put on. So let's get started, and I'll show you how to mount these brackets to the truck. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put these L brackets in. You're going to want to kind of put them like that. And you're going to want to put your bracket on here. This piece should face towards the back of the truck. And just kind of slide that over like so. And then we're not going to tighten it down 
but we're going to get all the rest of the hardware on there for the nuts and bolts. So now that you have those bolts on there, you're going to want to get your washer on first, followed by your lock washer. And then your nut. Now we're not going to get it too tight because we want to make sure that we can adjust it so that these bottom holes line up with the correct pre-drilled holes. So you, see, you can see these kind of move a little bit and there's some give. So we want to put our other washer on, our other lock washer. And our nut. Now, like I said, before we really tighten these down, you want to get the bottom one set up so that you can get your hardware through there so you can tighten them all at the same time. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to get my other hardware and put them in there. So now we're going to want to get these bottom bolts through here. And then same thing, you're going to want to do the washer, the lock washer, and then the nut. Now these are the 10 mil nuts. And now that we know that we're in the right place with our bracket, we can tighten these down. Now the instructions say to tighten these with 15 pounds of torque. I'm going to get them real snug because I don't have a torque wrench with me. And you're going to want to get your 10 mil socket and then you can tighten these down. Now these are supposed to be six pounds of torque. So once again, I'm just going to get them snug for this demonstration video. You may want to get an extension. Yeah, definitely get an extension. That helps a lot. So six pounds torque, get it on there. And then you just basically do that six times, two more on the driver's side, two more, three more on the passenger side, and I'll show you how they look. So once you get the bracket on, it should look like that, and your bolts should look like that. You do all three, and then we can put the step bars on. One little tip you may want to use here is to put the washer, lock washer, and nut on before you put these in the holes, uh, just maybe hold the bracket up there and then put those in. I think that's going to be a little bit easier than the way I just did it. So I was totally right with that uh, tip and trick here. Basically you just take your L bolt and you can just get it right in there, turn it down and uh, yeah, it's a lot easier than trying to balance the washer and the nut and the bracket all at once. Uh, way easier to have them pre-threaded and everything. 
So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is loosen up all these bolts and actually take them out of your step bars because we're gonna both just put these on the truck. This is where you're gonna need your 12 millimeter socket. And you'll notice that there's plastic on the chrome. You're gonna to wanna to take that all off before you install the uh, step bars on the vehicle. I'm gonna leave it on just because this is not where these step bars are gonna live. But wanna keep them as nice and new as possible. Just take those out, set them off to the side, and we're gonna place it, the step bar onto the truck and then tighten them down. You can see that these slide and let's go put it on the truck. So once you get all your bolts out of the bottom brackets, you're gonna wanna kinda make sure that you got the brackets close to where they need to go. And then you're just gonna wanna set it on top of there. Now you're gonna wanna have the plastic to the, all the way to the outside. So they kinda like V, the pads kind of V like that. That's how you know you have them on the right way. Now both sides are pretty much the same as far as the actual step bars go, so there's not a left or a right side. You're just gonna wanna make sure that you get them on there, and then we're gonna wanna look underneath to make sure that those brackets line up with the mounting brackets. So I hope you can see this, but uh, basically I'm gonna take this bracket and just kind of put it in between there. I'm gonna center it best I can. Take my bolts, kind of hold it into place. What's cool is that once you have these tightened down, the pressure holds the step bar into place. Now you're gonna to wanna to get your socket, tighten those down, do it for the other two brackets, and we're good to go. And I don't really say the pound foot torque on these, I would assume probably the 15 that you did for the mounting brackets would be good. All right, let's do the other two. So as you can see, these step bars turned out very nicely. They were actually very easy to install and they look fantastic. They look just like the factory ones. Really nice chrome on there. The step pads look really good and they fit absolutely perfectly. Definitely go get yourself some Yitta Motor Chrome Stainless Steel Step Bars with the six inch tube. And once again, these are gonna be good for any 2009 to 2018 Ram 1500 Crew Cab, 2019 to 2024 Ram 1500 Classic Crew Cab, and any Ram 25 or 3500 2010 to 2024 crew cab. Thank you so much for checking out the video and I uh, hope it was helpful and give me a like, subscribe and share on the YouTube channel until our next video and install. Have a great day. Look how small these gloves are. Almost fit.